If you're like most families, you probably have a collection of old photos lying around in albums or boxes. Perhaps even some color ones that have faded and lost their luster. If you'd like to learn how to bring those color photos back to life, in this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at Photoshop's Colorize filter. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. And this is a clip from one of my recent weekly live streams where we did a deep dive on photo restoration. The colorization tool is part of the neural filters added to Photoshop 2024. So watch this demonstration as I show you how to remove an orange color cast from the photo first using Lightroom and then take it into Photoshop to add back some color that was lost. I was fairly impressed with the result. I also used generative AI to fill in the bottom of the photo and give them some feet where they were cropped off in the original photo. So if you want some color photo restoration tips, let's get started. Okay, so my color dropper, let's do that. See if I can get a better color too. That's actually not bad. Uh, let's give it a little more. See, notice when you add black, right, you get more color. I am going to crop it here down to get rid of that white edge again. Okay, there's kind of a blue um, edge on the side here as well, doing something weird, right? So if I give this more, it still feels brown to me. There. That's probably closer, but still not, right? It's just, it's got a bizarre color. So let's take this to Photoshop and see what we can do with a few different things. I definitely want to use the expand. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. Uh, let's just try, do we wanna do the neural filter? Let's try the neural filter and see what we get with the colorization on this one because there's already some color there. So let's see what, what Photoshop is gonna, is gonna attempt with it. So let's try Colorize. Gotta turn it on. That's, interesting <laughs> I mean, it changed the color of their um shirts let's try retro let's try different settings retro purple yellow well it's interesting um they obviously had purple or pink red shirts on and it's not it's not really changing anything Right, let's try not auto. Nothing is really changing when I apply these settings. Nothing is happening. Manually color image. Oh, we've temporarily disabled this filter because of an error. All right, well, Apparently this filter is not working very well. So let's just try what happens if I toggle it on and off. It gives us that. And then if I try anything else, yeah, this filter be, makes an error. So apparently the colorization tool is not working so good. Let's do a little bit of scratch reduction. See, it's like it's got a yellow tint up here, right? Color noise reduction, half tone. Okay, so half tone, that's that slider I talked about. Um, there's definitely noise here. I don't know if it's color noise. Uh, we'll bring that up a little bit. And they're calling it noise reduction, but really it's grain. And we're still got some scratches and things here. It's not really doing anything, is it? So yeah, now it says this one is not working either. So let's just see what happens when I put it on a new layer. 
Okay, so there it is. It wouldn't let me change anything, um, but let's see about adding feet. So the um, generative tool in Photoshop is actually really easy to do, <laughs> to expand, right? Oh, I hate this thing. This thing makes me crazy, but at least you can move it, okay? Pin it over there. Is just get the crop tool, and when you expand, it literally will fill it in for you. Okay, so it gives you this generative fill. So I'm just gonna hit enter and see what it comes up with. Um, yeah, the absence of cyans and yellow is due to the effect of the sunlight over time, exactly. Yeah, it fades, every image fades in a different way and it depends on the original paper and, and brand and so on. Okay, so Photoshop doesn't always do very well with feet. That one's not bad, right? But it's kind of doing some weird, you know, I don't think, it looks like she's standing in a, um, <laughs> for you Canadians, it looks like she's standing in a Tim Hortons drink takeout box. Like that one actually sort of fits, right? Because it's already faded out. So if we want, you know, them to have feet, that's not bad. Okay, so that's not that's not bad, this middle one. So I might go with that, okay? Um, and if this colorized version, if I'm not crazy about it, um, we can literally just turn down the, oh, see now I've turning down the opacity of, of this colorization layer, um, and I can't do that because this layer is colorized as well. So I'm just gonna come back to this colorization layer and see maybe to put it at a lower opacity right? It's definitely better. Yeah, it's definitely better. And I've got the opacity at 70%. So it's still 80%, still a little faded. So I'm going to do the generative one again. Right? So now that I've expanded it, now I have to select this here. So I'm just going to select and see what it fills with. I'm going to have to call it soon because I've drank all my coffee and I'm um, going to need to use the little girl's room here right away. Um, but you can see how easily two hours is taken up doing this kind of editing. I don't know what kind of shoes he's got on, but they're a little bizarre. Uh, again, that's not bad. Her feet look better. Now he's got little tiny feet, little tiny feet, right? So that... She doesn't even have any shoes on. Let's try regenerate one more time. Yeah, so she's got no shoes or he's got like size two feet. <laughs> Take care, Nick. See you again. Uh, photo taken before squats were known. Yeah, he's got skinny legs, doesn't he? Okay, so at least she's got some sandals on, but he's got tiny feet again. Oh, those are interesting. Uh, no. So I think. Those are probably the best ones. Um, yeah, he's got little tiny feet in all of them except this one. Okay, so that's not bad. That's better. And there's a yellow kind of tint up here. So these kinds of things, yeah, are, are exceedingly, you know, that's what I brought from Lightroom and it color wasn't great. So it's definitely an improvement. But these kinds of things are, are exceedingly difficult to get rid of without a lot of extra editing. Like, for example, this yellow up here. So <clears throat> to get rid of the yellow, <clears throat> what I might do is um, I would do a e hue and saturation layer. Okay, so I've done a hue and saturation layer. And I am going to, I can shift the color. Oh, that's not even what I want either. Where is it? Color balance. That's the one I want. I want color balance. So I got the wrong adjustment layer. So color balance layer. Okay. And it's, eh, I think it's mid-tones. And I want to shift it away from yellow. So I'm looking at this area here, right? So I'm shifting it away from yellow. That's better. And then, of course, I have to paint it into that area. 
Okay, so I'm gonna invert the mask. Command I, oops. You can also right click, where are we? Why is it not inverting my mask? Invert the mask, invert the, there we go. Invert the mask, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to paint with the white brush into these areas here. So I'm gonna paint with maybe 30% opacity with a soft brush, okay? And I'm just trying to go over these areas that I can see are yellow, right? It's kind of this strip down the middle here. Right, can you see the yellow going away? So I'm painting with that color balance. Look at that's working, see that? Right in the middle here, something on her blouse. Oh, it's yellowed, the, wa the water's yellow down here, so let's do that. Oh, I got her leg, and her leg's now blue, so that's no good. Her shorts are blue. So not so much on this area. So now let me just turn this layer off. You see how it's solving that yellow stain a little bit? So I used color balance and then just masked it in, okay? So I'm gonna save this one and bring it back into Photoshop. Or Lightroom, sorry. <laughs> so there was, there was our original, let's just undo this one. Let's reset this one. So as I said, David sent some really great images, some great examples here. Uh, where are we? Where's the original? There we go. Okay, so that was our original. <clears throat> My mouse is going crazy again. And there's the after. Okay, so we gave them some feet, fixed the color a little bit. Is it perfect? No, but it's better, right? If you enjoy my teaching style in this video and would like a more extensive learning experience with Photoshop, I have a complete course available in our DPM store. I'll put a link to that in the description area below. It's designed for photographers like you who are not as familiar with Photoshop and would like to expand your skills. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click one on the screen now.